Welcome aquaponics growers. Today we'll talk trout breeding in aquaponics. So if you follow my channel, you know that I have been working in aquaculture before and I spent a few years working in a trout hatchery. So in this trout hatchery, I have been breeding millions and millions of uh, little trout and I really enjoyed it. And since I started aquaponics, I always thought uh, the aim for me would be to breed my trout as well. And I have the pleasure to share with you today uh, the result of uh, the first trout breeding in aquaponics. And as you can see, it's a real success. So in this video, I, I will show you a bit of footage uh, of the different trout I have, I have been able to, to breed. Uh, but most of the information that I have, uh, I will share with all the people in the uh, aquaponics revolution movement. And if you have not joined the movement yet, there is a link into the description of this video. When you enter into this community, you will get a free aquaponics training, but you will also receive my updates and I will give you some information about uh, the process I followed for the trout breeding. So without going too far in detail, uh, I will explain you a few steps that you need to follow if you want to breed trout uh, in your aquaponics system. Um, I don't want to say it's an easy task, but it's achievable if you are following the good process. So the first thing you will need is to get uh, genital stock, you know, breeding stock. So some trout, male and female, that are ready to breed. So you need, they need to reach a certain size and uh, a certain age. For the males, you can breed them at one year, but you need female trout that are two years old. So once they reach a good size, uh, you will need to prepare them to make sure that they're going to mature some uh, very um, healthy eggs, you know, eggs that are full of reserve and that are big enough to give birth to some fish. Then when the time comes, it's generally uh, around the shortest days of the year, but it's very specific on the trout that you have, where you buy your trout from. Uh, some trout have been selected to spawn a bit later, some a bit earlier, so there is no uh, exact science. You need to pay attention to your fish and uh, to test your fish to make sure that they are mature. When they are mature, you can collect the eggs. So to collect the eggs, it's exactly um, the same process as what we have seen in the video about uh, trout caviar that I made before. So you just catch um, the females. Generally, I test them before and I put them in a specific area. Then you, collect, you, you catch your fish and you collect the eggs. So to collect the eggs, it, it's what we call stripping. You basically uh, move the eggs away from uh, the trout and you collect them. Now, when you collect your eggs, there are some very specific things to take care of. Uh, I'm not going to go too far in this video. It's not a specific training about how to breed your, your trout. I'm going to uh, work on one and one will be available very soon. Uh, a training about how to breed your trout in aquaponics without investing in significant quantity of money into uh, hatchery equipment. So it will be very, uh, very much specifically adapted to backyard aquaponics. Uh, but for today, what I want to give you is just an overview. So there are some things you need to make sure that you follow when you collect the eggs, otherwise the eggs will not be able to be fecunded. So you collect the eggs, you collect the sperm as well, you mix them, and uh, then there are also a few things that you need to take care of. Then you will need to incubate the eggs. Once they are feconded, you will need to incubate the eggs. So you have to think that in nature, trout are breeding uh, in the river uh, between rocks and the eggs are falling in between the rocks. And that's an area where there is a lot of current, a lot of oxygen um, and no light, no sunlight. Yeah? So uh, I made a lot of tests to try to recreate those conditions without using uh, the professional equipment that I was using uh, in my trout hatchery before. And uh, after three tests, I found one technique that is working extremely well. Uh, the two other techniques give a mixed result, but everything will be very well detailed in the trout breeding aquaponics training. So once you placed your eggs in good conditions, you still have a lot of work to do because, as I said before, in the classic hatchery, you use some uh, pesticides, chemicals to kill and neutralize any potential disease that, you, that could grow, contaminate and grow on your eggs. 
Uh, we don't use, of course, any chemicals in aquaponics. Uh, that's the rule, at least that's my rule, and that's what I recommend you. So here I had to find alternatives to those chemicals. I found an excellent way to breed trout in your, in your backyard. Uh, then you can breed thousands and thousands of trout following uh, this process, this protocol, uh, without investing too much money. And then you can make a, a real income. You can either sell the trout or you can grow them in your aquaponic system, but also in big pond, in dams, if you have some, because the quantity of trout that you can grow following the technique I will show you today, or the technique I show in the training, is way higher than whatever you can grow in a backyard aquaponic system. In a backyard aquaponic system, we are limited in terms of number of fish uh, due to the filtration. However, when we bridge the trout, the number is extremely high. We are talking about several thousands of fish, yeah? So if you sell those fish, then that's not a problem. You can you can breed as much as you can, then you will be able to offer them around you. People will be happy, you can exchange them, there are a lot of possibilities, but that's really a plus to be able to breed your own fish. So I'm not going to go too far about uh, the requirement to keep the eggs alive into this video. But once uh, the, the eggs uh, start to develop, after, after a certain time, we, we talk in degree days. Uh, so. <laughs> It's the number of uh, days multiplied by the temperature of the water in uh, Celsius, in degrees Celsius. So if you have a water that is at 10 degrees, you will need 33 days for rainbow trout, 33 to 34 days for the, for the eggs to hatch, from fecundation, fertilization, to hatching. Uh, it's 330 degree days. Uh, at 200 degree days, you can start to see the eyes of the fish. And a bit before that, you can do some tests. There is a specific test that you can do to see uh, the level of success you had in the fecundation. That's all the type of things I explain in the, in the training about breeding uh, trout in aquaponics. But what is interesting is that after 330 days, the fish are hatching. And now you can see them moving. Of course, you see the egg because the fish, they have a, a big uh, yolk uh, reserve. So um, the, the, it's, it's not really a fish at this stage, we call it a larvae, because it doesn't look like the adult. It's alive, it's able to move a little bit, but it's definitely not uh, an adult. After a few days, um, the fish will start to swim and will uh, consume uh, this uh, reserve in, the, in, um, in York. And once the reserve is, is consumed, then the fish is started to eat. So that's when you can transfer your fish from the incubator to uh, the place where you will start to grow them. So if you have a bigger tank, that's good. I mean, it's up to you how you manage it. Uh, and I will give you some very specific advice uh, into the trial breeding training. Uh, but that's what we can see here in this video. I moved them in an IBC. And now we can see that uh, the fish, the trout, are growing uh, quite well and they just absorb, uh, consume the fish food and they are living exactly like the edgers. Okay, so I want to apologize for all the plastic that we have around, you know, normally my backyard doesn't look like that. You know that I, I pay a big focus onto the aesthetic of the aquaponic system, but in those specific conditions when you have fish breeding, it totally makes sense to put in place a setup that is gonna allow you to grow the fish and it's just going to last for a few months then you can as, a, uh, as i said before offer the fish around make a bit a little income and uh, grow some in your aquaponic system and your aquaponic system can be uh, you can remove all the plastic uh, items and your aquaponic system will become aesthetic again so if you live around melbourne and you are looking for some trout fingerlings uh, you are welcome to contact me if you want to learn more about breeding trout in aquaponics, I really highly recommend you to follow the aquaponics revolution movement in the description of this video. And please share this video with your friends, with anyone who has an aquaponic system or is interested into aquaponics. So if you don't know me, my name is Jonathan and what you see behind is an aquaponic system. It's not just a pond, it's a real aquaponic system. It's what I call the holistic aquaponic system. 
I have a whole presentation video about this specific type of aquaponic system, which is very aesthetic, very ornamental. Uh, you got two grow beds at the back. Of course, they, they are very well integrated into the backyard, but it's not just a pond, eh? it's an aquaponic system. <laughs> it's very different to all the plastic aquaponic system that you generally see. For me, that's the future of aquaponics. Once you understand how aquaponics works, you want to move away from plastic and go from natural design that are way more efficient. This type of aquaponic system is almost twice more efficient than the classic type of aquaponic system. If you want to know why, watch the video about holistic aquaponic system. Okay, so now let's have a look at the fish. So here we have the young fish, they are brook trout. And I was talking about before about uh, the yolk, um, the yolk sac. You know when the egg just hatch, uh, the yolk egg is still attached to the fish and that's a larvae. And here the fish are between the larvae stage and uh, the normal um, fry stage. So I am not sure if you can see much here uh, with the reflection on the water. Uh, and also the fish, because they are brook trout, they are black. So you can't see uh, much, I guess. So what I will do, I will take the camera and I will do a, a closer shoot. Okay, here you can see them. So you see the yolk sac, uh, the fish are moving, but they are not really swimming. You see they are still staying on the bottom. And uh, at this stage, you don't feed the fish yet. So those ones are the brook trout. We are not going to mess around too much with them. So golden trout, they are actually rainbow golden trout. Here, um, I believe you can see some movement. Yeah, you can see the fish. So you see some of the fish are already swimming. And that will be a time for me to start to transfer some to uh, another area. So you can see it's a fair few fish here. Okay, now let's have a look at this other one where I also have a golden trout. So I remove those items, remove the lid, and you can see all the fish here swimming. That's a lot of fish here. And what we will do today, we will transfer some of those fish. Those ones are a bit younger, but those ones, a lot of them are already swimming, so it's a good time to transfer them uh, with the fish that are growing at this stage. So here I got a fair few thousand of fish as well, and this IBC. You can see a lot on the bottom. And what we will do, to do today, we will transfer those fish, some of those fish, into um, the IBC. Okay, so let's do it. So you see, I take just a little, uh, a little net. and I will release them into the other IBC.
In aquaponics, it's never a bad idea to leave some fish in two systems at the same time because here <laughs> we can have a failure on one, we can have a problem with the water on one, so at least you always have 50% of your fish that survive. It's called diversification, as you know. <laughs> Okay, we leave those ones and I will just take the ones swimming on this one. Okay, let's have a look at the fish now. Yeah, there are a fair few of them. Really cool, I'm very excited, very happy. So I also added a few trout in the shed for diversification, just in case something happened. I have a little system here. And those ones are slightly bigger and they are already feeding, feeding well and you can see there, their tummy is quite fat, quite big. They look fantastic. I'm very satisfied with it. This one was a very uh, small batch. I, do, I must have something like uh, 80 trout here. While on the other, I got thousands and thousands of them. So I'm super thrilled, very excited. So I'm sure you found this video super exciting. Um, I am very excited about this aquaponics trout breeding. That's a real achievement, as I said. Uh, if you want any trout, please don't hesitate to contact me if you are around Melbourne. And if you want to know how to breed trout, again, follow the channel and uh, go into the description of this video and follow the, uh, the aquaponics revolution movement where I will give you some advice, where you will get a free aquaponics train and I will give you some updates, uh, some specific information about trout breeding. Please don't, don't hesitate to leave me your questions in the comment section of the video. Uh, give a like to the video, share it with your friends and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.